right here electrical equipment we're checking that everything is off so that would mean off 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 somebody left those on okay off somebody left that on and off make sure all that's off all right that's done circuit breakers circuit breakers make sure everything is in these are your circuit breakers right here just run along the line here check the circuit breakers they're all in throttle make sure it's at idle I like to move the throttle back and forth make sure it's free now our next thing is the prop make sure the prop is full forward which it is I like to move it anyway make sure it moves freely oh, and it does all right next is our mixture and we want the mixture to be lean also I check it for movement oh, it has a safety hatch that keeps it from sliding because if it slides while the engine it could shut it off you know so we don't want that so we just make sure well it's pretty much locked the mixture throttle prop mixture uh, battery on that would be this listen for the sounds watch everything come alive see everything's moving now okay the announcer the panel see the lights flashing tells you what's anything arises any problems something will flash on here and if you can see the choices start doors fuel oil pressure caution warning alternator low volt low fuel patat ignition trim fail so you just press that button right there and everything that's wrong the doors are open, oil pressure because the engine's not running, alternator because the engine's not running, low volts, the top because the engine's not running. All right, so that's good. And I see the panel checked. Fuel gauges, the fuel gauges right here. 13 and 13, left and right tank. We'll check that manually, make sure. Engine instruments, there's no reading. I mean, there's reading, but they're all zero because the engine's not running. External lights, let's go ahead and turn Stroll back on, position lights back on, taxi and landing. Let me show you what these are. Out here. That's your taxi and landing. This is your position and that's your strobe. Position and strobe. We're good. Turn the lights off. We don't want to kill the battery. Like I said, flaps. Your flaps indicators right here. Right? Oh, move it to the first. See the light comes on and the flaps are moving. Alright? See if we can actually catch this. Full flaps, push it down, flaps are moving. And we got the line. Let's move it back up. All right, watch the flaps come up. There we go. Flaps work, indicators work. Okay, the flap enders, master, off. Oh, don't kill the battery. Okay, fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher's back there, you see it? All right, baggage. That's our baggage right there in the cockpit. Cockpit preparations complete. The next page, the walk around and pre-flight inspection. Outside check. All right, we gotta go to left wing. Left wing, landing gear and strut, check. That's your landing gear right there and the strut, all right? Next thing on our list, wheel fairing. And that it would be this. Make sure it's secure, all the screws. It has three, four screws on this side. And one screw on this side, where you can have access to the tire and the rim. Make sure it's secured on there. Tire, okay, that's the tire right here. The tire looks properly inflated. Step, that would be this right here. Make sure that our screws are in, it's secured. You don't want to step on it to try to get inside. And then it breaks and you fall in. Bust your behind. Tank drain and vent. Check. I wrote that. Check actual fuel. The tank, when we loaded the indicators, the indicator said that it was 13 gallons. And this one, we're on the left wing. As you can see, there's no fuel in there. Nothing. But that doesn't mean that this thing doesn't have any fuel at all. So what we have to do, we have to manually check it. This is the actual fuel to tell me how many gallons are in the tank. If you look, you'll see the numbers. See the numbers on the side, it says, oh, these are gallons. 
you do. You rest it on the wing here. This part right here. Which part will go in here. Fits in the slot. You know. Actually, I can't see what I'm doing. But there you go. It's in the slot. But the, you press it up, and what happens, fuel flows up into it. And this thing is telling me we actually have uh, 18 gallons in this tank. We got 18 gallons. Any debris? No. Any bubbles? No. Coloration is blue, and it looks fine. We, the fuel is good in that wing. Okay, the stall warning port. This little contraption right here. That's our stall warning. Apply some suction to it, and uh, listen for the stall warning sound. See the hole, put the shirt over the hole, and I would just go ahead and... Okay, next thing is stall strips. This is actually a stall strip here. Here's another one over here. That right there. Okay, stall strip, okay, petot static mass. And that would be directly right here under the wing. That's this thing right here. There we are, the hole right there. Okay, there's another one here at the bottom. It's free, it's not clogged. That's what you would make sure that it's free and open and it's not clogged. Taxi and landing lights, as we have right here. What I like to do, I can tell I like to physically touch and make sure that that glass is secured in the, the tie downs. That would be this rope right here. It holds, it's like a parking thing. You don't take the rope out, you loose the rope. Uh, Wing, tip, position lights, and strobes. That's these things right here. Make sure the lights are secured. Nothing wiggling, jiggling. Screws are in. General condition of it is fine. All right, and ailerons. <coughs> Excuse me. As in with any aileron, you just make sure the attachments are in. These are your attachments. Right here, your metal piece, make sure there's no cracks in there. Make sure that's secured. Make sure the top is on in the back. Freedom of movement, same thing here with this one. No cracks here. Freedom of movement, yes. We have that. Make sure this is the actually control arm right here. Make sure the screw on that is in. All right, secured. Freedom of movement. Now the flaps, we checked earlier, it did work. Same thing here, only thing, the flap will not move. I yank on it, it's not moving, so. The back part of the wing also, make sure that's secured, no cracks in that. Same thing here, you know, secured. All screws are secured, everything is, that's the flap arm, everything is secured. Thing looks good up here. All right, it's beautiful. The left wing is done, now fuselage, left side, canopy. We've had a problem with this before, and these things are famous for cracking here. And here, you know, you check the overall condition of it. All right, you check the window and your door handles. And you pull this handle here. When you move this handle, that came out. There's another one over here, another pin over here. See, that one came out. Cracks here, cracks there. Make sure there are none. Uh, you check the condition of the where the pin goes. That's, screws are in, screws are in. You know, make sure there are no cracks here. The screws are all in and secured. The arm is secured. Hydraulic. The checklist, check the rest of the body. What we want to make sure, there are no cracks. Nothing. No cracks, the antennas. I'm gonna just speed it up just a little bit. Make sure their body, the condition is pretty stable. All right. It's secured. All right, I like to check every screw, make sure they're in. Same thing as with the ailerons freedom of movement and you do and your pin is in pin is in this is your trim tab so basically just make sure to check the secure pins are in in all right the screws are in here screws 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 there there you know uh, freedom of the rudder make sure that that is secured in there no obstructions screws secure make sure the cable is nice and secure Make sure all the screws are in. Untie this down. Move that out of the way. 